Hey, what is going on pros and prices? Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Uh, today we're reviewing Power King and it's be on the full sugar version. So again, I'm, a, I'm in a different country, I'm in Lanzarote and I thought I'll have a look at the shops, review some drinks and here I am reviewing the power drink. So I just reviewed the sugar free uh, power which I can't stop from putting in the bin but yeah, I've just reviewed the sugar free one. Didn't really, wasn't really that keen on it at all. So now we review the full sugar one and see if it's any better. So uh, there was a spa shop, which was literally just around the corner, and it cost me 35 cents. And uh, I said this on another video, but interestingly, the full sugar one and the zero sugar one were the same price. So the sugar tax clearly doesn't, clearly doesn't exist over here, which is cool. <laughs> so yeah, 35 cents, which is nice and cheap, and I think that's like, I don't know, 29p or something, which sounds about right for a, you know, a cheap, cheap uh, energy drink. So I give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have uh, most of the can being blue on this one, where the other can was uh, more silvery for kind of being sugar-free and clean. But no, this one is mostly blue with kind of silver dots behind the blue there. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything is all standard and silver, including the pour ring. So having a look at the back of the can, interestingly, this, this one has English on it, whereas the sugar-free one didn't have English at all on it. So, reading the ingredients, uh, the actual packaging is actually completely through the line. I don't know if you can see that, but the line going up there is right through that word there. Yeah, great packaging, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but the line goes up and then along there. Yeah, great packaging. Um, it goes down there as well, actually. Look, what's this stupid packaging? Look, going through, going through all of the, uh, going through all of the writing. What's that all about? <laughs> Sugar content is 10.3 grams per 100 mil. Contains our usual vitamins, niacin, panophenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12. Uh, the caffeine content was 32 milligrams per 100 mil. If I didn't already say it, I can't remember if I did. Um, apart from that, it doesn't say it contains any sweeteners, but apart from that, there's uh, nothing else on the can. So, I haven't got my normal cup, obviously, because I'm a board. Um, they wouldn't let me take a glass up from the restaurant. So I actually use this 300ml free cup they give us, and that's the restaurant I'm staying at, well, restaurant, that's the hotel I'm staying at. So, I don't mind because we all know the colour's going to be the standard Apple colour, so, you know, bear with me guys. So, um, so anyways, that's, um, I said the colour's going to be Apple, uh, taste and smell, we'll have to find out. Hopefully it doesn't explode over me. Lovely. So there you go guys, you can see the colour, it's... It's the standard Apple colour. You guys knew it, I knew it. There we are. So there's quite a lot of bubbles in there. Oh, that's quite hard to the top, actually, of bubbles. Nice little 300 mil cup, this is. Pretty cool. So I'll show you. Oh, it's definitely darker than the, uh, than the other, than the sugar free one. So I will show you guys quickly in the daring attempt with my camera. So there you go. it's definitely darker than the uh, sugar free one. Uh, the sugar free one will be in the description below the video. Go watch that. And the full sugar one will be in the sugar free one. Like I said, standard apple colour, tad darker than the sugar free one, but for the most part, it's a standard colour. Uh, the smell. Oh, no, this one definitely smells, definitely smells sweeter, because I've literally just reviewed that sugar free one, and I've literally reviewed this within five minutes, and this definitely is definitely more stronger in the sweetness smell. Hmm. But nevertheless, guys, let's uh, taste some. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely more syrupy. Cool. Yeah, that is way more sy The sugar-free one had a really just weird taste to it. It tasted like, just like, you know, like a cheap Spartan kind of energy drink in a way. But this one definitely seems more premium, but I guess that's because of the sugar. But it's not necessarily like sweet kicking. It's got a, it's got more of a syrupy taste, kind of like the foreign Fantas do. Like, you know, they've got more syrupier than it is sweetness but this definitely feels like it's got more syrupiness to it and yes it probably is just the sugar but you know they do have different tastes based on based on uh, what the drink is but if i could if i if i'm gonna compare this to something um not too sure I don't really it just tastes it doesn't taste anything premium it just tastes more syrupy and that's kind of it it's just but it's just another random original syrupy full sugar great guys you know no, nothing really um nothing really different as such hmm 
can't really, can't, can't really think what to compare it to. You know, actually, no, it reminds me of almost a full sugar boost in a way. I just remember drinking a full shot, the full sugar bottle of boost ones. It does taste similar to that, but I'd say this is definitely more sweeter. But like I said, guys, I'm not going to sit and try to compare it to 800 different drinks because like I said, at the end of the day, it's just an original flavor. Nothing special, nothing doing. You won't be able to tell the difference. Just this one's a bit more superior and nicer than the, uh, than the sugar-free one, which is now in the bin. But um, I mean, the thing is, it's not like disgusting, but it's not amazing. It's just like, it's, it's bang slap in the middle. It's like, okay, great. So yeah, I'll give it in the middle, guys, you know, because it's not nice, but it's not nasty. It's just, yeah. So, but yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.